what's going on guys welcome back to the channel yes we are here once again with some more dark reaction season one episode seven and eight is here today yes and i am excited you guys already know how much i'm loving this show um you know um just the the aspect the genre everything about this show is in my wheelhouse you know what i'm saying and i think this is in my opinion the best show i've ever watched that had time travel in it like and it's one of my favorite genre of story genres that you that i could think of right one of my favorite ones when it, anything that concerns time travel i want to watch i want to see how they do it what it concern how do you manipulate time what are you doing what's the past what's the present what's the future that's what i want to know okay so um jonas or jonas jonas whatever i'm gonna call him jonas jonas has traveled to the past but there's so many questions to be asked who created this tunnel why is this tunnel there you know why does it seem like there's another year that they can go to i noticed also in the logo in the logo that i have up that there's three years right i think it's 1956 no 19 1953 1986 and 2019 right so it's like exactly i think 33 years right like yeah it's like 33 years they're like every 33 years the same thing happens again it's like a cycle but the thing about it is that different things happen in both these times that we've seen so far we have not seen 1953 yet um but we've seen so now jonas has traveled back to 1986 right through finding out that freaking mikhail is was his dad you know what i'm saying it's so weird this cycle you know what i mean so it just it, it just kind of goes to show you that this is this is just kind of it, it's just it's weird guys it's it's weird because mikhail you know it doesn't end up with no you know incense it, it, it's, it's it's not like incestual or anything but anna is trash bro like listen me li listen man i mean both of them were trash don't get me wrong both of them is trash ulrich anna both of them is trash um when it comes on to the relationship aspect of things right both of them i don't i don't mess with none of them when it comes on to relationships anna is trash okay you had a husband that obviously you didn't love because you just want ulrich you know what i'm saying you ended up don't even know that you was with Ulrich's son. You married Ulrich's son. <laughs> you know, which is, uh, uh, you know what? Let's not talk about all that stuff because it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what's going on. You know what I mean? You know what's going on from watching the show. It's amazing the structure of the show, man. It's just amazing. So, we got Charlotte trying to find out, um, you know what's going on with everybody you know what i mean she's trying to find out why is her husband or i don't know i don't think she divorced her husband i think they just like decide to stay together for the kids but they sleep in like separate rooms in the house and, and, and stuff like that so um the way how the last episode ended it blew my mind again episode five and six was top-notch tv you know what i'm saying top-notch tv but in episode six we about to find out if the the freaking kid that showed up that we thought that was mikhail back in like i think it was like episode two or three um about to find out if that is mads because if he's looking for the scar that's supposed to be on his chin if he finds that scar then it's confirmed that that's mads but mads didn't age you get what i'm saying mads did not age and also what the hell is going on with eric 
what what is going on with eric like we still don't know i know they're like doing some sort of experiment on him or something like that and it looked like it's the same thing they were doing with mads because his freaking eyes are all burnt out his eardrums are burst i think as a, uh, um or, or something of the sort and stuff like that so there's so many things so many moving pieces guys i can't sit here in the intro talk about all of them so let's just go watch the show and then once season one is done i can spend a long time talking about season one and talking about all the events that happened hopefully i can remember it all because i have not been taking notes um but i think I, I believe that i'm remembering most of the stuff but i'm gonna take the time to actually take notes go back and watch a couple of episodes get the names down and stuff like that um so that i'm not messing up the names anymore even though it's not something i i prefer to do because i want to watch and understand i don't want to be paused into you know what i'm saying because my i don't really you get what i'm saying like i don't want to be doing that but let's jump in and i will see you guys for the review All right, so that was episode seven and eight, season one, dark. My God, my God, my God. Things are coming together. We got two more episodes to go for the season, but things are looking great. Things are looking great. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I really do appreciate y'all, man, for sticking with these um, reactions with me. I know you guys who are experiencing early access now, you know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, the the, the, um, the crazy thing about doing reactions in advance, you got to kind of speak in the future and the past at the same time. So you got to think about, now I got to think about early access people and I got to think about the people who's on um, the rest of everybody who's going to see it the week after. So, um, so, um, so yeah, man, when it comes on to this story, as I said before, I have gushed enough over this story you know how i feel about this story that has not changed right now eight episodes in season one is already a 10 out of 10 for me just the structure alone for this show should intrigue you and as i said there's not a lot of dialogue in the show and for you to keep me interested in any tv show you have to have really good dialogue you get what i'm saying so for something to keep me this interested when there's not much dialogue in the show um it goes to show you that they're doing an incredible job at least in my opinion so we found out that basically ulrich found the wormhole right he found the wormhole he found the place but he went back to 1953 instead of 1986 if he went to 1986 he would have found Mikel, but he went to 1953 right now he decides to go take out helg you know what i'm saying helgi whatever you want to call him helgi he followed helgi into the into the cave that's how he found the wormhole but where did helgi go i wonder if helgi went back to 1986 is he able to travel and change that's another thing that i'm wondering too they when they travel through the wormhole they don't change like they don't change the age nothing changes so i'm wondering if something is happening with helgi helgi is definitely responsible for some stuff in the future he does survive in the future did what what ulrich did when he when he when he killed a child you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know to change the future right did he actually do that or not because he did show up when you see elgi he does have the scar in his face on in the future on the right right side of his face so i'm wondering or is it the left side i think it's the left side of his face but, but in any case i'm wondering if he does survive the head bashing i think he does survive that's my theory right now that he did survive because why would he show up with the scars or maybe somebody else did it in the past see Ulrich is not hesitating to try to change the future now we got this dude that still don't know what his name is he just keeps popping up everywhere you know what I'm saying now he goes back to the guy that wrote that wrote the book right 
that wrote the book he's the one that created the machine he created the time machine or whatever that that um it looks like that's the machine um that i don't think <sighs> does this dude know where the wormhole is because he's trying to destroy it but he can't do it without that machine as he has he explained right he can't do it without the machine which i'm curious about why he can't do that like or why is he even trying to destroy it because he said he knows what happens in the future but it seems he's in 1986 right at that point where he's talking to the dude about time he was in 1986 he never left jonas went back home but he never left he went to talk to the dude um you know and there's so many things there's so many things one of the things that really interests me the most causality and all of this other stuff is really like this this time traveling thing man it's just really interesting you know you know and everybody kind of have their different takes on it you know what i'm saying on what it what happens you know what i'm saying like what really happens if if you really like travel to the past and change something does it really affect the future or things just play out anyways like if you kill someone would it really affect the future or will it just switch will it just um well i, I guess switching um switching something would be um effect but if you change something the guy told him if you change something here he told um jonas or jonas whatever right if you change something here it'll change something in the future so you can't bring back mikhail because if you take mikhail out of the past and bring him back you know what i'm saying um these events won't keep reoccurring you will never be born if if um if mikhail doesn't come back in time to meet hannah so you won't be born right so if you affect that you get what i'm saying so it's just there's so many things that you could speculate and that's the reason why I don't really want to speculate i just want to see how they do this story so much um to the point where you know um i'm just intrigued man i'm just intrigued because this is it's extremely intense the the um the 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 osds or score if you want to call it that um that's included in this it's just very it's a very eerie you know what i'm saying if i should tell you guys anything watch this show with headphones watch this show with headphones and you will enjoy the experience even more in my opinion because you know what i'm saying like it just the immersion when i have my headphones on is just there you know what i mean um this is not a show that i would watch on tv unless i have like a surround system you get what i'm saying like this is a series that you need to have like your headphones in like you know what i mean or have some huge surround sound like theater kind of sound around you so you can really be immersed in what you're watching i really do enjoy this show man the show is dope as hell you know what i'm saying um ulrich didn't like the fact that he that he you know killed helgi i don't know how that's gonna affect the future as i said i'm not a hundred percent in on the fact that helgi's dead i don't think he's dead i think there, i think i think he's gonna wake up in that freaking seller or whatever and that seller i think that seller is gonna play a very important part later on i think the priest that is in there you know there's also talks of the antichrist and all of this stuff and i'm wondering if that's gonna play a part coming up or that was just mentioned just for mentioning sake you know what i'm saying um it's just crazy it's just crazy i mean my god the storyline in this is beautiful and i don't want to as i said i don't want to speculate too much because i know i'm going to be wrong so <laughs> i don't want to speculate too much i'm just so intrigued with the story and where it's and where it's going you know what i'm saying and where where it's going and where it's going to lead to um you know it just gets better and better every time you know what i'm saying um what's her name charlotte found some yellow paint in the cave she went into i don't know what's going to be the significance of that um i'm trying to re um, remember everything over the two episodes um 
listen guys if you are not yet into this show i don't know i don't know i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you but anyways i'm gonna sign off here man i appreciate you guys for you know keep watching the show man i think it's gonna get crazy i think it's gonna get even more crazy but anyways thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all and i will catch you guys for some more dark coming up next leave a like leave a comment and i will catch you guys later man peace